get started. So this one I'll, start, I'll talk about um, my craft is better than your craft. Again, when you're starting out, you've got many people that will have many different opinions. You'll have people who are of different uh, pantheons. You'll have Gardnerians, you'll have Alexandrians, you'll have Eclectic, you'll have, uh, you'll have um, staunch, um, hardline Wiccans, you'll have uh, yeah, fluid um, witchcraft that uh, incorporates you know, whatever happens to be going around. Each person will have their idea about what works and what doesn't, what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And unfortunately, a lot of the time um, you will find that these people, not always, I'm, I'm making a bit of a, a sweeping assumption here, but from what I've, what I've gathered and what I've, what I've seen, many people who try and, and dictate to others what what is the right and correct way to follow their path are usually people who have come from a strict dogmatic religion and they've uh, left that religion for whatever reason and now because of their um, let's call it programming of, from a young age they are Placing those rigid dogmatic um, systems um, onto onto a a belief system that by itself isn't isn't rigid and dogmatic. Um, witchcraft is fluid. It's like it's like the trees. It's like the plants. It's it's. Um, it moves and changes and, and bends and adapts for for the environment for 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 its uses. So to say that it is rigid and it, this is the only way that you can um, do X, Y, and Z, and the goddess um, you know, the goddess that you are following is not the correct goddess for witchcraft, or you are not worshiping the goddess in the correct manner. Uh, you must have a a goblet of wine on the left side and the light must uh, hit it thus. You know, all of this sort of um, you know, wanky um, things that, that I, I don't know, it's, it's again it's saying that my, I know my craft, I know the craft better than you, you're not doing it right, I'm the grand poobah of the uh, Lord High, you know, Grand Wizards of whoever, um, and it smacks of of uh, what I've I've coined before is a lack of internal control. When you try and control other people, uh, you try to control them by what they say, what they do, um, how they dress, how they act, um, all of these different things, you are, uh, are basically showing that you have no inner control, you have no, say, personal sovereignty. You uh, cannot be really responsible for yourself, you don't feel... Um, you don't feel in control of yourself. So in order to feel in control, you must control others. And when it comes to to um, witchcraft, witchcraft is, is a very personal, wild, um, untamed thing that um, you, you can't control. You can't say that, that my way is, is better than your way. Um, my way is great for me and it's better for me but it's not the only way and it's not the best way 
every person is different. So everyone is going to experience the divine in a different way. Hence, we've got so many different variations of of um, religions that are have been set up to try and uh, and uh, capture people into experiencing the divine and putting this um, my my way is better just shows that maybe maybe you're not sure whether your way is better and you have to you have to convince and curtail and control others to to uh, to your way because you think the more people that are doing it your way then it legitimizes it now this is slightly different um, to when you're working in a coven and it goes back to finding a, a coven and um, working solitary is that many people um, take the kind of my way or the highway thing a little bit too far um, and again I take it back to maybe they haven't done as much internal work as they like to think that they have um, because they feel that they need to to control and um, and keep in line others when you're working within a coven of course there are guidelines there are parameters that you you must work within and this is just so that you can have a group of people working together if you don't have those parameters then you don't have everyone being say on the same magical page you don't have them all working from the same same playbook and so each person is doing their own slightly different thing when you're working within a with a in a circle and that means that the visualizations the direction of uh, energy all of these things are dispersed and not as focused as they could be so this is why you have uh, everyone will have their uh, group consensus that this is the way we work this is the way the circle is cast this is the way uh, a spell will be done this is the way the ritual is done um, and this is simply so that everyone is working towards the same goals it doesn't mean that the way that they cast a circle um, in one particular coven is wrong because the other coven doesn't do it that way it just means that that is the consensus that this group has come to so that they can all work together. Now when it comes to then people take it a step further and twist it to say that well our coven's better than your coven because we do this this way um, and you cannot do any other work of magic in any other way because you were doing it wrong. Um, and and proceed to um, almost put people down for for having maybe a different opinion or doing something in a different way, and that's why I find that many people don't enjoy the uh, working in a coven um, because you have uh, people who feel the need to to dictate to others um, you also see it uh, in um, the, the online community on YouTube saying um, with people uh, commenting and saying well you've done that wrong or you're talking about that wrong um, this is the way you should, should do it or telling people who are just starting out that they're, yeah, they're worshipping the goddess the wrong way. Um, which, which I think is silly. You forge a connection with, uh, with deity and that is, is your connection with deity. Deity is, is, is everywhere. You think think of deity as being um, your your body, 
and every single cell in your body is a manifestation of deity. So Joe Bloggs down the street will have a connection with cell number 472 and uh, Jenny from, uh, from over, uh, over in the other country over there will have um, a connection with the uh, divine cell um, 94. Um, all of them are parts of the divine. They are just different manifestations of that divine, that divine spark. And to say that one person's connection with that divine spark is is wrong um, is kind of like saying that that the whole divine is wrong. Uh, because at the end of the day, as they say, we are all but a cell of the divine and the divine is us so to say that how we experience the divine and how we interact with the divine is is wrong uh, because it's not uh, the way that you you or you interact then um, you are negating every single person who's ever experienced the divine as well as yourself short-sighted all right so I am just about to pull into my driveway so I will uh, sign off and um, just say if someone tells you that you're doing it wrong especially if you're a, a solitary uh, just tell them where to stick it <laughs> merry meet merry part and merry meet again blessed be